everyone, so today I'm going to be doing an empties video. Um, I have a ton of empties because I just kind of like used up everything all at once. So I'm not going to waste time doing a super long intro because this video is going to be long as it is. So let's get into it. So the first things that I grabbed are the Herbal Essences Color Me Happy Color Safe Conditioner and Shampoo. Um, I bought these because I got my hair highlighted a month or so back and... I really don't like them that much. I feel like they tangled my hair really a lot. They really didn't do much for my color. Uh, and I really didn't like the smell of that much. So I probably won't be repurchasing these. Next, I have four Neutrogena makeup removing towelettes. Um, I will always repurchase these. These are my favorite. And I really don't like any other makeup wipe, to be honest. <laughs> Next are some makeup wipes that I didn't like. And those are the Yes to Cucumbers Soothing hypoallergenic facial towelettes. I like my makeup wipes to be really, really wet. These were really dry. They pulled on my face. They didn't feel nice, and I really don't think they removed makeup all that well, so I definitely won't be repurchasing these. Next is one of my all-time favorite products, and this is the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. I love this stuff. I think it does wonders for my skin. I actually, like, just ran out of this, and I'm already just craving it and I definitely definitely need it. I will definitely be repurchasing this over and over and over again because I honestly think this is the best facial scrub I have ever used. Next is a clarifying shampoo and that is the Garnier Fructis Fortifying Shampoo Pure Clean for Normal Hair. Um, I like to use a clarifying shampoo just about once a week. Um, I usually use the Neutrogena one but they were out of stock so I just grabbed this one. Um, I really don't think it's supposed to be a clarifying shampoo. I used it as such and it works pretty well. Uh, I might repurchase it. I would more likely to repurchase my Neutrogena one though. But yeah, this one worked alright. And I have more shampoo and conditioner. This is the, these are the Tresme Expert Selection Keratin Smooth 7 Day Smooth System Shampoo and Conditioner. I really, really liked this. I have... I used the little ones that might actually be in here later, and I repurchased it. Um, I, do, I do think it really does help in straightening your hair. It made it a lot easier. I don't use these all the time because keratin isn't good for your hair, but it definitely helped out when I wanted my hair to be super, super straight and to last. Next is the Tresme Fresh Start Dry Shampoo for Oily Straight Hair. Um, I definitely don't like this. It took me forever to use this. I probably had this for like two years because I don't like the smell. I don't like the feel of it on my hair. And I much prefer my Garnier Fructis uh, Volume something dry shampoo. I really like that one, but this definitely didn't do it for me and I definitely will not be repurchasing it. Even more shampoo and conditioner. This is, these are the Herbal Essences Naked Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. I really, really liked these. They smelled really, really good. They made my hair feel soft, clean, and definitely didn't tangle it up like the other Herbal Essences shampoo. And I definitely would repurchase these because I really enjoy I have two toothpastes next. This is the Crest 3D White Brilliance Toothpaste, and then the Crest 3D White Lustrous Shine Toothpaste. I prefer this one, and I repurchased this one. This is alright, but this one was definitely better. Next is the Clean and Clear Advantage Oil Absorbing Clean Cream Cleanser. Uh, I did like this. I like the Deep Action Cream Cleanser from Clean and Clear more, but um, if they were out of that, I would probably repurchase this. This is the Soap and Glory Scrub of Your Life. I love this. I definitely want to repurchase this. I haven't gotten around to doing so, but I will definitely be doing that soon because the smell is perfect and it is a really good body cleanser. Body scrub. This is the Soap and Glory Clean on Me uh, Creamy Moisture Shower Gel. I really liked this. I probably won't be repurchasing it because it is kind of pricey for a shower gel. Um, that I could probably get the same consistency. Going along with that is the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory. I love this for the smell, I love this for the consistency, and I love it for what it does to my skin. And I will always repurchase it. I need to get the full size. I just... $20 for a body butter. I don't know why that hurts so much. I used up a lot of shampoo and conditioner because the next are the Frederick Fakai... Hmm. Brilliant Glossing uh, Olive Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. Um, I got this from a little set, or I got it from a birch box. Yeah, I got this from a birch box, and I really, really liked it. 
Um, I've used this before, and I really enjoyed it. But the only thing I don't really like is the way that it makes your hair kind of smell like olive oil, and it would just constantly, like, surround me throughout the day. But what it does to your hair is amazing. It's very pricey, but I think it's worth it. These are two more Frederick Fakai products, and these are the Technician Color Care Shampoo and Conditioner. Like I said, I got my hair highlighted a couple months back, and I just kind of tried out different coloring shampoos and conditioners. Um, I really liked this for... The way it made my hair feel thick but it tangled it like crazy nothing i did no matter how much i used the conditioner it comes it came with a hair mask which i also used up and it just my hair was in constant knots no matter how much i like brushed my hair before after i got out of the shower it was just terrible but it made my hair really thick and pretty and soft so it's kind of like a pro con thing i probably would buy the glossing shampoo over these again but it did make my hair really thick and pretty, so it's hard. I don't know. Next is the Clinique Dramatically Different Moisturizing Lotion. Um, I used this for the longest time. This took me forever to use up. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this. I also used up a smaller one, but I will get to why that happened. Um, as far as a face moisturizer goes, this doesn't sink into your skin as well as I would like it to. I use the First Aid Beauty moisturizer now and I definitely like that more because it does give me the heavy moisture that I want, but it doesn't feel heavy. I don't feel it on my face. It sinks in really quickly and I just like it so much more than this because this I can feel on my face all day. No matter if I put, uh, put foundation on top of it or not, it's definitely there and I can feel it and I just, I don't like that. It does, however, work good if you have a sunburn. Um, my mom and I are firm believers that if you have a really bad sunburn, don't use, like, lotion or body butter or anything like that. Use face cream because it's so much more concentrated and it definitely heals a lot faster. If you can get anti-aging face cream, that's even better because the stuff that's in that is hardcore and it'll heal, heal it in, like, three days. Um, I got a really, really super bad sunburn. And so did my boyfriend, and so this is where that went, just on our backs <laughs> and on my legs, because it was terrible, painful, but this definitely helped a lot in the moisture renewal of the summer. Going along with moisture of the body, this is the Be Kind Body Lotion with honey and organic chamomile extracts. I got this from a birch box. It's like a gel formula, and it sinks in really nicely. And it's got a pretty nice smell, but I really don't feel like it was doing much moisture-wise. Like, I would, I just felt like I constantly had to reapply it for some reason. Like, usually I will put on my lotion, I'll be good, I'll feel moisturized. But this one, I just felt like I was just constantly like, I need lotion. And I, you know, I probably won't be repurchasing this. More lotion. This is the Burt's Bees Intense Hydration Day Lotion with Clary Sage. Um, I got about one or two uses out of this because I did get it out of a birch box, so it wasn't like a super ton amount of product, but I definitely liked it more than the Be Kind moisturizer. I definitely don't like it more than my Soap and Glory body butter, but I mean, it did the job. I really didn't like the way this smelled though, because it does smell like sage, and I'm not an herby person when it comes to my lotion. I definitely like it to be sweet or fruity, not very herbal so I probably won't be repurchasing this but it was a lot better than the be kind one next is another hair mask this is the gloss modern high gloss mask um, I got this from Birchbox a very long time ago and it just kind of sat in my shower and then I finally got along got around to using it and I really didn't like it I mean I didn't I said I didn't like it it was more that I didn't notice it doing anything so I definitely won't be repurchasing it. I do need to find a mask that I like because I would like a hair mask because my hair has been getting a lot longer and damaged and tangled and crazy and I would like a hair mask. So if you have any suggestions, please leave them down below. It would be very much appreciated. Like moisture care produ products that I used up because this is the Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel Moisturizer and this is... So perfect on days that you don't want to wear makeup and you don't want a heavy moisture feeling because I absolutely hate that is when I can feel stuff on my face 
and really heavy moisturizers without foundation can just make me feel so suffocated and make my skin feel so gross but this was so perfect on days that I didn't wear any kind of makeup because it was just the touch of moisture it was really light but I felt hydrated and it made my skin look really nice so I will definitely be repurchasing this at some point I have a lot of moisturizers to get through but I will definitely be repurchasing this one. there's been like no makeup in this but I've got a couple primer-esque things this is the Smashbox photo finish oil free primer I loved this. I definitely like my hourglass one more, but this is definitely a close second. I don't know. I didn't know for a while which one I was going to be repurchasing, but this is definitely my number two primer as far as foundation primers go. The other primer that I have is the Benefit The Professional. I did not like this. I really don't think this helped my makeup go on any smoother. I actually feel like it made it harder to put on um, and made it it's stuck weird in weird places. I don't know what's going on. I'm sorry about the noises, but um, I definitely won't be repurchasing, repurchasing this. Everybody loves this, and I just don't. I don't know why. The next product is something that I have used forever. I never bought the full size because it's $30, but I should because I'm obsessed with it, and it is the Urban Decay D Slick Makeup Setting Spray. It's summer. I need to get this back into my life because it is perfect. It is exactly what I need. I have oily skin. This keeps it at bay. Whether I have makeup on or not, it is perfect. It's my holy grail product and I would definitely recommend it to anybody with oily skin. I used up two perfumes in the past two months since I did this the last video of this. But um, the first one, I am so sad to see go. I need to repurchase it. It is by far my all-time favorite perfume. Uh, my boyfriend really loves it. I have a lot of memories with this perfume as far as he goes, so it's very nostalgic for me. And it is the Wonderstruck Taylor Swift perfume. I love it. It smells so good. I like it so much more than the second one she put out, and I definitely like it more than the Taylor perfume. I really don't like that one. But this one is just sweet and sour. And if you haven't smelled it yet, I don't know where you've been, but it is my all-time favorite perfume. I need it back, I miss it like crazy, and I need to get around to repurchasing it, but I love it. The other perfume is the Mariah Carey Lollipop, Lollipop Bling Perfume in Ribbon. This took me like two years to finish. Um, I liked it. It's not very strong at all. It really wears off really quick. I would smell it when I sprayed it on, and then it was like I never smelled it again. So I won't be repurchasing this, but I mean it definitely smells like a blue raspberry lollipop completely in total. So that is it for my empties video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please comment, like, subscribe, all the normal stuff, and I will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.